What is up guys, Noli here and have I got a story for you, some awesome news and also just to inform you of some things that have happened over the last few days. First of all, I did have my last exam today which was why I was busy over the last day or so and explains the lack of um, anything really. Um, secondly, we received these two masks, we received the crossbreed and the orc, I won't go through the masks fully, I'll just show you what they look like, try and sell them to you. Crossbreed looks absolutely fantastic, one of the better masks I've seen in a very long time. The Orc has a pretty funny description, um, which is quoting, I, I believe it's a nod towards World of Warcraft. That's another nice looking mask, and most importantly, I believe these masks are going to be exclusive, at least for the foreseeable future. So you guys need to do this within the next, I believe, two and a half days, something along those lines. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Go. Check out the Humble Bundle if you haven't already, uh, it's a really good deal, you obtain these two masks alongside some of the um, DLC in games, and if you're a fan of Smite you get the Zeus Almighty uh, skin which is also pretty cool, I didn't have it and so it really drove me to buy this Humble Bundle. Not only that, you can name your price, anything above $1. Um, is acceptable. I always go for the medium price, the average price to obtain the extra game. In this case, it's Mortal Kombat Arcade Edition, I think, and um, because it's it's to charity, uh, you can't deny that. And so this is only going on for as long as E3 continues. So guys, make sure you pick this up as soon as possible. And if you see this video too late and this is gone already, I do have some spare copies that I will be giving away at some point. Uh, but obviously that's after the Humble Bundle is finished, I'd rather not try and track from sales or anything. Um, and just be aware that I did play our average price. <coughs> Pardon me. So, awesome looking masks that you guys are going to want to try and pick up, but that isn't even the main topic for this video. Let's let's go back to the crossbreed so, just so we can see this awesome mask spinning around. Updates and DLC coming to Payday 2 on console. This was just tweeted out and uh, there was a link to the Facebook page and I'm going to read out what it said on the Facebook page, slightly paraphrased. Uh, you guys on console should be excited. It's not quite perfect but it, it's 90% there. The first content rollout which includes the armor transport DLC and two of the gauge weapon drops will be available soon for the Xbox 360 um, and the PlayStation. That's the part I had to paraphrase, they went through all the entertainment system from Microsoft. Um, players will also have the option to purchase swag bag number one, which contains all three DLC packs at a discounted price. More details and dates to follow. So we don't know a date specifically, you could say we're in the exact same position we were before, but we have a name, um, we know exactly what we're going to be getting. Slight disappointment if we're not getting the snipers for the console version just yet. Clearly swag bag number one suggests there will be eventually a swag bag number two and possibly even beyond that. Um, so stay excited for that. Definitely the new updates and DLCs are going to be coming out in the future on console. Again a little later. It's just the way with it really. Um, they had a lot of problems updating the Payday 2 version for um, particularly Xbox 360. Uh, but it seems like not only will the updates be coming, so will DLC. Exactly how the updates are going to be shipping, I don't know. They should be free. Um, I'd be very surprised if they weren't. But part of me seems to think they might be coming alongside the DLC. But the idea of buying DLC for updates, which are free, seems a little bit odd. Um, but be aware, more updates coming for console. We don't know exactly when it is. Um, but this is going to be the first DLC drop and you guys should definitely stick tune, stay tuned for it. Uh, keep an eye out and I'll try and let you know as soon as I possibly can exactly the date, exactly the cost um, and what version of Payday we're going to be getting on console. I forecast around about 20, um, probably no later than that. But it's a huge step in the right direction. Those of you console fans, I see so many comments saying, I used to love this game, the life was sucked dry when... We haven't seen any updates, it's just the same old unfinished game. Well, we're moving towards a finished game on PC over here and you guys are going to be seeing that very soon. So I'm glad my predictions made about five months ago weren't completely off. Well, they were completely off, that's ridiculous, but at least we're getting them now. So that video becomes more relevant again, fortunately. I, uh, I think I was getting more and more comments saying, you're lying to us. 
you don't know nothing, which, to be honest, it was speculation. It wasn't speculation without reason, but now we've got it. I'm excited, and of course, I have the Xbox version, and will most likely be buying this, and it's going to bring the game back to life for me. Um, of course, the PC version is still as it always was. So, awesome new things happening to Payday over the next few weeks. Um, not only are we going to get the big DLC bank heist, we're also going to see huge changes to the console versions and, of course, remember you can pick up these masks for as cheap as a dollar on the Humble Bundle website. You're going to find the link in the video description below. That's a lot for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next one.